Last week I joked that um, our guest from last week owned half of Tobago. This next guest owns the other half. He is none other than Positive. Welcome Positive to the set of tonight yes, sir, of Emily yes, TV. What's up my brother? I'm good. How are you going brother? Good to see you in this forum. Yeah man, good you to know, be here. Of course I would have interviewed Positive on, on radio and stuff like that. Good to see you, you know, um, on, on TV. With me, I mean, you, I know TV is here. You know, TV. <laughs> All over the place. Good welcome. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Good Excellent. How are you? Good, baby. Number three? Yes. Uh, wow. You know, last, so, last, last no, of the three. No, no, no. No, <laughs> let me tell you something. Positive, didn't you say when you had, when it was just your first baby? Right. Didn't you say that that was it? When people say how to have more to come? Yeah, you know, my philosophy is that, you know, <laughs> the Lord has to send that child. You know, you don't go there looking for that. You know what I mean? You know, so you do, you put everything in place, all the precautions and everything. Yeah. And if, you know, a baby has to come to everything there, then you say, ah, that is from the Lord. Wow. Yeah. And you said that three times. Yeah, three times. <laughs> but I want to, I want to I, I, I see two more in your future. No, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't see that. I, I see, see I think you're looking at the past. Remember, <laughs> you, you looked I at the wrong camera more. this earlier, right? Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. you had to look at the, the right side. Right. Yeah. Well, good to have you, good. Yeah, good man, good to be here. Positive. <laughs> Never let go. I mean, you've come a long way from, from Never Let Go. Right. Tell me a bit about Positive before Never Let Go and, and your journey into music for the, for the, the m and &E TV, of course. All right, so well, I'm coming from, you know, obviously the small island of Tobago. I was born in one of the smallest villages. John Dial is like a drive through yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you spend more time at KFC than you spend driving through John. <laughs> that is very true. Yes. Because I remember when the caravan came, when our caravan went through, yeah. our music caravan, and um, late Jimmy Thomas was like, now this is where, the, where Positive grew up. Yeah. And I was like, where? He said, we just passed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yes, that's true, yeah. So, you know, I'm a, a family guy, I came from an extended family, and I just love music, love the Lord, and just. Always have been serving him since that time. Yeah, but your, your voice, though, you have this voice, you know, it is, you know, there are some artists you, you hear and you can say, yeah, he sounds like, right. and, and this person, he sounds like, but there's only one positive, you know. <laughs> Tell me about, about you, is that something you, you honed, or was there artists you used to listen to before, or that, that is just you? I think when I just first started, like um, a lot of people would have compared my voice to like Egyptian, you know, like, so na 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 na, yeah, you know, that kind of vibe. But as you get older, I guess, and everybody, you know, has different, you know, so many influences that they listen to or people that have in, influenced their space, whether it's knowingly or unknowingly, you know, but over time, as you begin to delve into your purpose, you begin to find yourself and, you know, as you continue to invest, because my desire is to be the best version of myself, you know, because I believe that, you know, God has created me to be unique. And my uniqueness is what will bless the world, you know. So I just always desire out. I don't want to song like anybody else. I want to song like me. I want to create my own song, my own vibe, my own mood. You know, I don't want to do it like anybody else. I just want to just have my uniqueness show forth. Yeah. Yeah. But everything you do, from, from Never Let Go, right up to, your, to your, last, your last song, everything, to me, has been a hit, you know. <laughs> do, you, do you write songs or put on songs based on... I, I want this to be a hit, or you, what's your writing process? Are your thought process, I mean, and your writing? I think for each song it's different, but I think the number one goal is to make sure that the Lord, you know, receives the glory from my music, because, you know, we only here in this earth for a short time, and I just want to make sure that I could, you know, reach the people that I was called to reach, and, you know, to say the messages that I was created to, to deliver, and, you know, for each song. Some songs happen in the space of 10, 15 minutes, the others take, a year, some songs take a few months. Like, let me be the one, one of the, the quickest songs. We wrote it, we got the production. I remember I even sold my car because I wanted to have Super Dupes produce the song. You understand? Wow. And Super Dupes, he doesn't work with independent Will artists. You marry that? Will you marry that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I don't need a car, I need music. You know, wow. so I sold the car to pay for the song. And you know, would you believe that that song today is my most selling song? It was able to allow me. Serious? Yeah, yeah. I, I could pay for that song 10 times over. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, man. So it's a blessing. So you sold your car. I just <laughs> wow. But yeah. do you think, let me jump to your family life a bit. I know your wife is very, very supportive right. you know, of you. You think if you told her now that you want to sell your car, 
to produce a song, or to sell both of their cars, or all four cars. To, <laughs> I don't know. To, you think she would tell you, go ahead? You know what? As crazy as it sounds, I just believe that my wife, you know, she trusts me at this point, you know. She has learned that, you know, I walk with the Lord. You know, and once you walk with the Lord and he orders his steps, then there's nothing, no good gift will he withhold from yeah. them who walk uprightly and are called according to his purpose. And I believe that she will take, follow my lead. I've heard people, I've, I've had the conversation with people, very few people though, right. who don't know you, who would make a comment um, like, I find he, like he feel he did, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I always tell people, Positive is a very shy person, inherently, yeah, yeah. you know? How do you balance your, 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 your personality with being a personality? Okay, good question. Well, for me, I really find I'm a little bit in the background, you know, yeah. and most of my time is really spent, like, with my family, my yeah. loved ones. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, like, you want me driving on the avenue, and you just see positive just liming with yeah. you know, yeah. stuff like that, you know? But, you know, I'm just... I'm just grateful. I, I consider myself to be, you know, one of the most talented people, you know, always able to interact with people. But yeah. I've always heard that, you know, as soon as we hit the stage, it's like a different person, you know. Yeah. But it's just, I just want to, to go out and do yeah. what is required in the moment and in the season. And, you know, the Lord allows us to just morph into who we have to be. No, I know your wife's name, but I wouldn't call her name on TV. <laughs> but I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You're a good-looking Rasta man who could sing, <laughs> right? <laughs> How do you manage, right, to deal with the ladies? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a real question, to deal with the ladies as an artist who's out there. You understand? How do you, how do you deal with it? Do you tell us, like, wait, do you just, like, you know, stay away, hands off, that kind of thing? How do you deal with it? I think um, it comes from, firstly, loving your wife, you know. Um, I, I just love my wife. She's... She's a good woman. Do you like talking she's a job, great. Kind of thing now, eh? you know, talk she's a great. Yeah. She's a great woman. She's yeah. very supportive. Yeah. She she she's beautiful. She's outstandingly beautiful. You know, she's exceptional. She's kind. She's caring. She's nurturing. She's a great mother. Yeah. She's she's a great daughter to her parents. Yeah. You know, and she's an excellent wife. Yeah. You know, and the truth is, when I look at what I have, you know, when. You see the treasure that you have. Yeah. You know, when you yeah, have a yeah. treasure, right? Yeah, and, you know, yeah, you're not yeah, going and trying yeah, to yeah. look for anything yeah. out of road. When yeah. you know you have the, the creme de la creme right yeah. inside your house, sometimes I wake up and I say, Oh God, babe, I'm so blessed to be married to you. Boy, how did I, des how did I deserve <laughs> this? It's amazing. There are many times I wake up, you know, next, next time I find look at you and I say, Wow, I see you real blessed to be married to me again. And I, I, just, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know that feeling. So, much. when we got married, right? Yeah. You know, my wife's father, he went and gave a speech, mm -hmm. you know, as the father of the bride. And he's up there and he's saying, you know, I am, I love my daughter with everything inside of me. And she's such an outstanding child, an outstanding person, yeah. you know. But I believe that Joel, he is, he, my, I, I feel like my daughter is the one who was blessed. Yeah. To have Joel in his life. Wow. <laughs> you know, yeah, true, I don't know what, yeah, what I do here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But um, you know, it's just family and I you just love you. them. You get you. You my in-laws, you know, it's like a great relationship yeah. too, and I'm I'm blessed to have them. One of the things we do on, on M and &E TV is to um is to let people know the the artists right. behind themselves because we know your music right. and we really, really want to thank you for the time it took just to come and share with us your time yes sir. we have to have you back again yes sir you understand but thank you so much guys tell them quick where they could um get your handles oh we're oh, we coming back we're coming back yeah so we have more time with it right so yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna take a break and come back again you see what happened my producer he have a thing here sorry anyway we talk about it we're gonna take a break and come back Practically now, but the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. With that mighty, some of the 